Alex Green with Low Kick MMA. I'm here with Brian Battle, who returns to action next Saturday on December 17th. Brian, how are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me today. Of course, man. It's my, my pleasure. Uh, you're eight days out. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'll tell you what, I feel like a million bucks. I feel like a killer right now. Uh, so I can't ready, I can't wait to get in there, handle my business, and then uh go on vacation with my family afterwards. You know what I mean? Were you stoked to get one more fight before the holidays? Oh man, I was ecstatic to get one more fight before the holidays. You know what I'm saying? I I I thought after my last fight, I thought all the way leading up to uh I I thought I was gonna have a fight in December the whole time. So um when it was looking like I wasn't going to have a fight in December and possibly not even have a fight in January. I was getting kind of bummed out. Uh, so when I saw this opportunity pop up, I knew I had to jump on it. I mean, your next fight has to be in front of a crowd, right? I mean, especially after uh, after I take out Renat, you know what I'm saying? I'm figuring 4-0. Uh, I'm going to go for the finish, so that'll be three out of four finishes, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it would be nice, you know what I'm saying? It, uh, it could still even still be a fight night card, you know what I'm saying? They're starting to do fight card, fight night cards all over the place. I see they got one in Texas in uh, March. I think that'd be a lot of fun, you know what I mean? So, um, ideally, hopefully, but, you know, at the end of the day, beggars can't be choosers, you know what I'm saying? Just give me give me somebody somewhere, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. If you had your choice, where, like, what location would you want? Like, do you want a hometown fight? Like, do you want to travel – somewhere cool like where where would be a perfect fight night for you um oh number one would be somewhere in charlotte like time warner cable or bojangles coliseum somewhere like that in front of all my people uh that would be amazing you know what i'm saying like there's been so many people that have helped me along the way and that i wouldn't be here without and there's so many people that you know they can't watch me fight like people haven't watched me fight since before covid you know what i'm saying so to be able to fight at home would just be would be extraordinary awesome awesome man all right. right i mean i would love to fight in japan too though i'm just tossing that into I, mean, <laughs> I just toss that into the universe you know what i'm saying toss it i will toss it with you i'll, I'll give you some thank, you, tomorrow, thank, you. thank you thank you <laughs> um awesome all right well before we get to your fight i do have a very important question um next saturday is it going to be brian the butcher battle yes yes it'll be the butcher you know what i'm saying that's that's what we're doing out here we're finishing these dudes and we're taking their hearts afterwards. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know, it's just uh, as a fighter, I've evolved so much. You know, my mentality as a fighter has changed. My my style as a fighter has changed. Uh, and so, you know, I'm just going to keep that attitude and keep that swagger going into this one and all the fights afterwards. I'm, I'm going, coming after all these dudes next. You know what I'm saying? I mean, in te- technically, you have one of the most underrated violent knockouts this year. I reposted it on social media just to remind people, like, that head kick was fucking violent. <laughs> oh, dude, I mean, you know, uh, <clears throat> now that I've seen all the rest of the, like, end of the year, like, knockout of the year candidates, I'm like, damn, man, if I had a little bit more recognition, I'd be right there, man. I'd be I, – that that reward would almost be mine. But, I mean, you know, granted, Leon Edwards is the same exact thing except in a title fight. So, you know, uh, I can't really complain too much. You know what I'm saying? What would you do with that 50000 Um, Nothing really. Nothing really. I mean, you know, it just – yeah, I, I mean, I, I got my, my lovely wife, you know what I'm saying? I mean, uh, my, my nephew, he stays with us. Uh, we got our baby. So we're just, I'm, I'm just figuring out life. You know what I'm saying? Life is just constantly evolving and changing. And so, uh, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, ball out quite yet. I will say after this fight, we are going to go on a little family trip to the beach, which I'm just stoked about, you know what I'm saying? So, um, sorry, we're not, but you know, uh, I, I need two checks at least you know what i'm saying three checks preferably but two checks at least you know what i mean and he's standing in the way of that awesome well let's get to it man we're not man he has a lot of hype um he's you know uh now that now that he's in the ufc people saw how good he is man um first of all like it's kind of a boss move to take this guy on short notice on, on, on like a week's week and a week and a half notice um was there any hesitancy to not take this fight, or was it, I'm done, fuck it? Uh, no, I just felt really, really good. I felt, um, you know, I feel strong right now, you know what I'm saying? I feel, um, 
you know, I, like I said, I, I had been asking for fights, you know, since my last one. So uh, the fact that it was looking like I wasn't going to have a fight uh, was really bumming me out. So as soon as I saw someone pull, when I saw Morales pull out, I didn't even look Renata up. I just messaged my age and I was like, I, I can take that fight. You know what I'm saying? Because that's just where I'm at right now. You know what I mean? Um, and so, you know, Renata's definitely a tough dude, but, you know, I'm tougher. You feel me? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He, he's he got a really good system that he's good at executing, but um, I'm just I, – I, I got more systems. I got answers to his problems, and I don't think, you know, me preparing for him on two weeks, that's not a problem because I prepare for everybody every day. Preparing for me on two weeks, that's a problem. You know what I'm saying? That's not possible. You feel me? So, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm excited to go out there and make a big statement. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, a boss move, uh, separate myself from the rest of the pack. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm very excited about this. Yeah, I'm I'm going to bet you not many fighters picked up that phone call when they said, oh, you want to fight this guy on <laughs> two weeks notice? Well, and, and, and like I said, it wasn't even a phone. I made the phone call. I was like, oh, <laughs> what's happening? You know what I mean? Like, uh, so, um. Yeah, and, you know, it would just look, you know, guys won 18 fights in a row, 10-year win streak, you know, a wrestler from Russia. That just looks great on the resume, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make my resume as strong as possible before it's time for renegotiation. you feel me? Yeah, absolutely, man. Um, well, what do you think of the matchup? It, it's 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 very interesting. It's, it, it's actually a very fun fight on paper when you really look at it. Um, what, what do you think of the matchup? Um, you know, like I said, I think he's a he's a strong guy. You know what I'm saying? I think he has a, a solid system uh, that he's used to get victories. You know what I'm saying? He's a grinder. You know what I'm saying? Um, with that being said, um, you know, he doesn't do a whole lot of different things. You know what I mean? Um, he kind of has certain things that he does very well. And, um, you know, I've have a lot of different ways that I can handle those things that he does very well. You know what I mean? Like, um, uh, you know, it's like, I, you know, I tapped out Petrosky, you know what I'm saying? Who I think is a better wrestler. Who's a bigger guy. You know what I'm saying? He's a bigger guy and he's a better wrestler and I'm better now. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, man. I mean, it, 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 it Matchup, you know, I know they say styles makes fights, you know what I'm saying? Matchups are important, but I, I'm just a matchup problem in general, you know what I'm saying? It's not something I'm sweating too much, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, you can look for me to uh, exploit some openings that I see on the feet. Um, if we do end up locked up, you can look for me to, you know, stay calm and composed, not to get flustered, you know what I'm saying? Not to get tired, you know what I'm saying? To make all the, the right decisions at the right times. And, uh, you know, if it hits the ground, you can look for me to be the superior grappler. I think people, I, I think a lot of people forget that you submitted Andre, per, uh, Andre Perkowski, man. Like that dude's, killing it in the UFC right now and you choked him out with not with a fucking ninja choke you know what I'm saying so like I, I no, think I tell you what, that. that 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 went aged very well <laughs> <laughs> that aged very 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 well yeah. like uh every time he wins in the US I'm like that's crazy I mean one it irks me that he's he's already had four fights and I'm like I had to like beg and take my fourth fight on two weeks notice whatever whatever you know what I'm saying but uh yeah man I mean no he is he's killing it right now you know what I'm saying I mean even though we're on different teams I'm kind of you know I'm happy for him you know what I'm saying he's doing the damn thing but it also is you know for someone like me who fought him in the past you know it kind of watching him now you know it gives me confidence because you know he, he's going out there now grappling everybody and I'm like, oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, all right. You know what I mean? Uh, because, you know, he couldn't do that to me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, don't get me wrong. We, I definitely had my moments in that fight. But, um, you know, overall, I mean, as far as grappling goes, you know what I'm saying? I feel comfortable with almost anybody. You know what I'm saying? I, I, you know, I put myself in bad positions all the time at the gym so that I'm prepared to go against the top guys in the world. So, uh, and we're not – you know, like I said, tough dude, really good at what he does. Uh, not very complicated though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to be having to figure out a lot of different things. I got to figure out how to stop, you know, four, four things really, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, if I can force him to open up and show me something new, that will be dope, but, uh, we'll see. We'll see. 
How's the weight, man? Um, I I was one of the ones that uh, when I saw you weigh in last time for your first Walter weight or back at Walter weight, I'm like, he's a little he's a little sucked up. You you looked a little bit uh, you little. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. And this time's not going to be much different. Uh, <laughs> I shouldn't be. I shouldn't be. Uh, best case scenario, I'm a pound or two lighter than when I showed up to Vegas last time. Worst case scenario, I'm a pound or two heavier than when I showed up to Vegas last time. So, I mean, regardless, I'm going to make weight. You know what I'm saying? I always tell people the worst weight cut I ever had, I was 222 on Monday and I was 187 pounds by Friday. And in North Carolina, that was an amateur fight. That was an amateur fight. So North Carolina, you have to have same day weigh-in. So I fought that night. I weighed in fought that night and then the guy i fought uh i don't know if you recognize his name and but kasang and i you know he ended up in the ufc yeah he's and not only did i not only did i fight that guy we fought it was a title fight so it was five four minute rounds and i dominated <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i like wait it's not fun it's terrible but you know you got to pay the cost to be the boss and you know what i'm saying no matter what it is uh if i accept the fight i'm gonna make the weight and then you know i Bad weight cut, whatever. It don't matter. I'm going to come out. That's never going to be an excuse for me. I'm just going to come out and dominate regardless. You feel me? Bro, you just tell me that story. I'm never going to doubt you again. because <laughs> <laughs> There's one of those little low-key flexes I keep in, the, my, in my back pocket. You know Dude, what I'm saying? that is fucking insane. That's insane. That That's literally insane. Oh, my God. Um, Yeah, I mean, oh, well, on that note, at the end of the day, Next Saturday night, December 17th, how do you get your hand raised? Um, I think uh, TKO in the second round. TKO in the second round. I like it, man. I like it. Um, finally, for me, um, I you know, I guess this this would be a better question after the fight, but like, how do you how do you grade your? I guess. It, it's not your rookie year because you fought last year. Your UCD was really last year, but this year you're like you're really coming out party. Your sophomore year, rookie year. I don't know. What, I don't know what you consider it, but like what? How 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 would you grade yourself, man? Um, up to this point, I, I would say it's like an A. You know what I'm saying? I I, I won. Uh, it, if I beat Renat, then it goes up to like an A minus. You know what I'm saying? I won't say it's an A plus because I didn't finish Trey. If I would have finished Trey, finished Takashi and finish or not that'd be an a plus year but um yeah no honestly i'd say it's a b plus right now because i didn't just didn't have a whole lot of fights you know i didn't finish trey that fight was a lot closer than it should have been takashi was sensational but you know um like i said i mean you know as fast as 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 fast as that blew up you know what i'm saying by the next week you know what i'm saying everyone had been rem- their minds have been captivated by other crazy things that were happening. So um, if, if I take out Renat, then I say that's a solid A minus a, a, yeah. Yeah. In that ballpark, like a 95, 95 okay. for a rookie year. Okay. Okay. I like it, man. Awesome. Brian, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it, man. Uh, if you want to plug your social media, plug any sponsors you might have, and if you want to thank anybody, the floor is yours um yeah i just like to thank my my wonderful wife uh you know she's always great uh specifically these past since i accepted this fight she's taken on a lot of responsibility um so shout out to her she's been amazing um uh you know obviously shout out to my coaches shout out to my team follow uh you know shout out to my iridium sports agency jason house jacob braga all those guys are great um Follow me on Instagram, Brian Battle sixty eight. Your boy just got his blue check mark, so it shouldn't be that hard to find me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, on Twitter, Brian Battle ten. Uh, and yeah, man, I it, thank you for having me on the show today. Make sure to subscribe to the Low Kick MMA YouTube channel for all the latest news, event previews, and interviews with some of the biggest stars in MMA.